Now, do you hear that? That's the Beatles down there, and they're trying to work out how to play Get Back, but they haven't quite got there yet. You see, they haven't actually worked out the right beat for it yet to get that groove that needs to be in the song in order for it to be a hit. Now, while they're doing that, I'm going to show you guys how to play the song on a ukulele and make it sound as if it's what they're going to work out in about two hours time. Let's make a start. So first things first, the record is in the key of A. But in order for me to recreate the sound of John Lennon's guitar, I have to play the song using a G shape. And if uh, I'm playing along with the record, I need to put a capo on fret 2 and play in G. I need to have the G chord in order for the strings to be in the right place when I come to plucking the riff and getting that feel. So let's zoom in and have a look. Now I suppose the intro forms the basis for the entire song and that opening chord in the intro is a G sus2 which is a G major with your middle finger lifted up. And you are really only going to be playing anyway these three strings closest to you. Now the beat that you're going to create here is like this. Dum dee 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 da da. It starts quiet and it gets louder and the dumb is a thumb pick on the G string and the D is an index finger pick on the uh, E string. As the uh, intro progresses you're going to introduce the C string as well to that index finger pick. Now when it comes to the verse, you're going to take your lead from Ringo's rhythm on the snare drum. He's playing and we're going to do exactly the same on the ukulele with uh, thumb picks on the G string and a sort of light um, uh, shuffle type uh, strum on the strings immediately below. that C sixth in there uh, as part of the verse. Now the chorus is obviously very similar. There's two halves to the chorus you could say and in the first half uh, you just continue to play that beat. <laughs> The second half you're inclined to throw this little lick in and I guess the final bit we need to cover is that bit where the song seems to grind to a halt and you hear uh, Paul say get back Joe get back to where you want. Get back, get back to where you go. 